Hey, what's up everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And I want to apologize to you in advance. And the reason for that is because I've been sick for the last week. My three-year-old brought home a doozy. It's been kicking my butt all week. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm rocking the Barry White baritone voice. Yeah, and it's hump day today. It's date night tonight, so everything's going to be all right. Anyhow, I probably will hack, sniffle, or snort at least a few times during this because I've already scheduled this Facebook Live twice, and both times I was not able to do it because I was sick. I'm not about to do it a third time. So even though the audio quality is probably not as good as it could be or it should be, I'm doing this dang thing anyway. Why? Because I'm not willing to cancel a Facebook Live three times in a row. It's just not going to happen. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for your forgiveness and understanding as this audio quality is probably not going to be superb, but the content will be. All right. So today we're going to talk about how to fix not hitting your income goals once and for all. We're right now near the end of 2019 and you've either crushed it this year and you're kicking ass, you're taking names, you're chewing bubble gum and things are really happening for you, having phenomenal momentum as you launch into 2020 and you had a kick-ass year. Maybe that's you. If that's the case, kudos, high five, hallelujah, right? And then there's probably a good majority of you where that's not the case, where you're way behind the eight ball compared to where you want it to be. You're not hitting the income targets you wanted to hit. And you're finding yourself in a cul-de-sac of frustration where this feels like a trend where you set goals, you're not hitting them. You set goals, you're not hitting them. You're almost getting to the point where why bother even setting goals if I'm not going to hit them? Can you relate to that? I know I can relate to that. I've been there. So how do we get out of that? Because frankly, I mean, I'm talking to clients all the time, mortgage professionals, both in Canada and the US, who are stuck in the muck and mire of living like that year in, year out. And they're frustrated as hell. They're stressed out. They're annoyed. They feel guilt and shame because their spouse is having to toe the line because they're not able to toe the line at the level they need to. And so there's inadequacy, there's shame, there's guilt, there's a sense of, you know, their mojo being lost, their swagger factor being lost. Uh, they're getting kicked in the proverbial nuts or the proverbial ovaries in terms of their sense of dignity, self-respect, self-esteem. And so there's a lot of impact in not being able to perform at the level you want to perform and hit the outcomes you want to hit. Is that not true? So this really does matter. Like this is not just about hitting goals. It's not just about hitting income targets. This is about stepping into your power, stepping out of the shame and the guilt and the fear and the overwhelm and the stress and the anxiety and stepping into your power stepping into your freedom, stepping into your peace, stepping into your highest calling and your best version of yourself. That's really what this is about. So I'm going to talk about a few things that need to be put in place in order for you to live that way, in, in order to own that power on a daily basis and to be able to produce outcomes. You want to hit 100K? We can hit that. You want to hit 200K? We can hit that. You want to hit half a million? We can hit that. You want to hit seven figures? We can hit that. But we have to thread the needle on a few critical components in order to get you there. So without further ado, the first step in the process to overcome this problem of not hitting your income goals is to get clarity. Get clarity on your outcome. Most people don't get what they want because they don't know what they want. It's not that people are shooting too high and missing. It's that they're shooting too low and hitting. They're hitting low dead on the head. It's incredible how many times I will speak with or communicate with mortgage professionals who are newbies, maybe even veterans, but it usually comes with newbies where they're like, I don't know what my income target is going to be for 2020. I don't know what, you know, my income target is for the next 12 months. They seriously don't know. They're in a business for themselves 
with 100% commission, no safety net, you eat what you kill, and they have no specific target. It's we'll see how it goes. It's uh, let me finish some training first, and I'll think about that. They have no specific outcome, no measurable target. And if you don't know where you're going, as Chestershire Cheese, I'm probably butchering the name, but anyway, the the uh, Cheshire Cheese from uh, the cat from Alice in Wonderland once said, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. And the same thing is here. There's an 80% success rate or rather failure rate in the mortgage business within the first two years. In other words, if you don't put yourself to an advantage to win in this business, if you don't align yourself with victory, if you don't equip yourself to win so that when you show up to the gunfight, you're showing up with an Uzi instead of a butter knife, chances are you're going to get chewed up and spat up. And so only 20% of mortgage professionals actually are in business within 20 years or within two years. And then those who actually manage to eke out survival after two years, the average income is only $70,000. And that's before tax, not after tax. $70,000, friends. That ain't much. We're looking at 35 k net after business expenses and taxes. That's chump change compared to what you want to be making. It's chump change compared to the ambitions and goals any mortgage professional has. And you didn't get in this business to just survive. You got in this business to thrive. So you need to have clarity on what that thriving looks like. What is the income? How many families are served? How many clients or units have you helped get a mortgage? And how much income specifically, not your safe number, not your realistic number, not your I hope maybe I can achieve number, but the number that allows you to live the way you really want to live. What would be the number that gets you doing the happy dance, gets you doing the freedom dance where we just pop the champagne, throw the confetti and do the happy dance? What would be that number for you? Write it down and then write down how your life will be different when you achieve that outcome. How will your life be different when that outcome becomes your reality as if you already have it? That's the first step. Clarity is power. So that's one reason perhaps why you're not hitting your income goals is you don't have clarity on your income target. So you don't have clarity on the difference that's going to make in your life emotionally, spiritually, relationally, financially. You want to get clear on the impact. It's not that you want to make 200 or 300 Gs a year. It's the impact that's going to have on your life. That's why you want to make that money. So let's get clarity on the impact the money will give you, not just the money. Because let's be real. You don't just want a bunch of paper or a bunch of zeros and commas in your bank account. You want what the zeros and commas are going to do for you in your life, in your family's life. Agreed? So that's the first step. <clears throat> the second step now is feel the victory in advance. You've got to feel it in advance. When you're making that 300,000 or that half a million or whatever it is for you, what's that gonna feel like when that's your reality? Can you imagine it? Just imagine it for a moment. Marinate your mind and heart on that reality. What's it feel like? What's it taste like? What's it, you know, what's the, what, what's the feeling of it? What's it look like? What's it sound like? You want to get yourself fully associated with your dream as if you already have it. One of the reasons why more, most mortgage professionals, certainly most entrepreneurs in general and mortgage professionals in particular, don't achieve their income targets is because they're feeling in lack and yet they're dreaming in abundance. So they have a dream for a big lofty income target, but every day they're feeling lack, they're feeling scarcity, they're feeling inadequacy, they're feeling fear, they're feeling anxiety. So every day their reptilian brain is focusing on all the lack because it's trying to protect you from bankruptcy, from losing your house, from relational discord where your spouse, your significant other is breathing down your neck or whatever it is, right? There's a whole lot of emotional connection with finances, right? When the finances are low, it's easy to get sucked into the vortex of feeling that fear and that inadequacy and all the things that come with it. 
And so we can have lofty ambitions, but if we have lack feeling, we've got a problem because it's the lack feeling that repels the abundance that you desire. So one of the reasons why you're not hitting your income targets is because you are transmitting lack and scarcity instead of abundance, joy, and gratitude. So that's another key piece that I teach my clients how to do is how to anchor in and build an identity of abundance, how to cultivate those emotions of joy and gratitude and peace and power and confidence and certainty and enjoy the journey, not achieve to be happy, but happily achieve. So that is one of the biggest reasons for failure is that you're thinking abundance, but you're feeling lack and scarcity. And until and unless you fix that problem, you're going to be chasing your tail. It's like splashing around in the water. Sure, you might be exerting energy, but you're not really going anywhere, right? Some of you can relate to that intimately because you feel like that right now. The next reason why you're not hitting your income goals is because you're failing to leverage your database. So one of the keys to success is we got to leverage your database. If you're a newbie, that's your friends, your associates, your centers of influence, people who know you, like you, and trust you. If you're a veteran, it's all those people, plus your past clients, plus your prospects, and plus your realtor partners or respective potential partners. So your database is the low hanging fruit. And Far too often I see one of the reasons why mortgage professionals don't get traction and don't get maximum momentum and leave a shit ton of money on the table and don't achieve their income targets is because they're losing a ton of opportunity in their database. They're hemorrhaging opportunity daily, getting poached by competitors because they're not staying in touch with their database or the way they're doing it is lame, dry, boring, or dull or all of the above. If you're sending out cookie cutter crap from your company and you're wondering why you're not hitting your income goals, wonder no longer. Cookie cutter crap ain't going to get you kicking ass and taking names. It just won't. It's just not going to get you there. You know it and I know it. So you've got to have your database marketing dialed in. And when you do, you should be getting one to three deals for every 100 past clients in your database. One to three deals. You do the math on that. If each deal is worth three G's a pop and you've got 100 past clients, that's nine G's a month you could be getting right from your database. If you got a thousand past clients, do the math. Add another zero on there, right? Now you're making a seven figure income just from your database alone if you're doing it right. So if you want to accelerate your speed of growth and your income, We've got to remove the emergency break that's causing you to slow down. And that is not mining the gold from your database. That's a huge break. And when you do start to mine the gold from your database with a more sophisticated approach, a more effective, consistent approach, all of a sudden now it's like putting throttle on the gas, baby. You're bringing in one to three closings for every 100 past clients in the form of repeat and referral. Most people lose sight of the referral piece. They're like, wait a second, Dorn, rates are going up. How many more refis can I do? Have you considered that every single one of your clients knows people who know people who need a mortgage? Have you considered that every single one of your past clients know people who are settling for substandard solutions because you are you don't have an effective referral program in place. And so they're settling for substandard mortgage solutions just by virtue of the fact that you're not even on their radar. But what if you put an effective referral attraction campaign in place so you can start picking up those referrals? Think about how much more money you'd make and how many more people you'd serve, how many more people you'd liberate from the lackluster experience of having substandard solutions when it comes to their mortgage. That's the power of mining the gold from your database with purposeful intention using a proven plan. The next step in fixing this problem of not hitting your income goals, goals rather, is you need to upgrade your partnerships. Far too many of you, one of the reasons why you're not hitting your income goals is A, you're not actually even pursuing partners. You're 
being reactive instead of proactive. You're being passive and, and drifting instead of driving. And the other reason is because you might be proactively driving and proactively going after realtors, but they're the whining, sniveling, complaining, low producing, jelly, donut eating, bottom feeding realtors who don't have any business to send you. What good is that going to do? It does you no good. They've got nothing to send you. If you're going to spend time proactively going after partners, why not go after the top dogs? They're not any harder to attract if you know how to attract them, believe it or not. That's the myth. The misconception is that the top dogs are harder to attract or the top dogs are a pain in the ass to work with. Well, that might be the case, but that's also the case with the low producers too. And if you're going to work with someone who's a pain in the ass, if you are, and I'm not suggesting you should, but if you are, wouldn't you love to be making 50 to 100 to $200,000 a year from that partner instead of making chump change, putting up with their bullshit? Obviously, you'll take the more profitable option, will you not? What I'm saying is go after top dogs and pick and choose the ones that you love, that you have great synergy with, great energy with, that you know people you love and respect and they love and respect you, people that you'd go and swill a bevy at the bar with, people that you'd invite to your wedding or the people that you know you invite to your, your kid's wedding. I mean, something that is a relationship that's meaningful, that is is the shortest path to the cash to be able to help you get your income goals. So for example, if you're making hundred K today, uh, doing three loans a, a month and you, you want to get to 200 K next year, you, we need to add an extra three loans a month to your production, right? So you could do that through mining the gold from your database. You could do that also by just getting three partners that give you one loan a month. Think about that. Think about how simple that is. Three partners, and frankly, using our system that's rejection-free, kissing any ass-free, there's no kissing ass, there's no rejection, we can get you top producing agents to make you their exclusive without making a single cold call within a matter of just a few weeks. We can get you a stable of three to six solid top producing partners before the new year even hits. So now you're hitting the ground running with top dogs making you their exclusive. They got you on their speed dial. And now you're kicking ass and taking names, doing six, nine, 10 plus loans a month consistently. And they're the best quality leads you can get by referral. And they're purchase leads, not refi. So you don't have to worry about rates going up. People are going to be getting into the market whether rates go up or not. People are going to be buying. People are going to be upgrading. People are going to be repurchasing. People are going to be divorcing. People are going to be dying. All that stuff involves transactions. And you can be right in the mix cashing in on those transactions if you have your marketing on point. And the fastest path to the cash, friends, is and always will be partnering and aligning yourself with top producing agents who make you their exclusive. There is no shorter path to the cash. Agreed? So... That's another way to fix this problem of not hitting your income targets is learning the secret sauce and cracking the code on how to do exactly that without inflicting yourself with the hell of cold calling or calling the same realtors every Monday, meeting with them once and then beating them down, browbeating them every Monday with the same lame ass call with no value proposition, hoping that just by sheer persistence, you're going to wear them down to want to make you their exclusive. That ain't going to work, friends. You know it and I know it. Chances are you get experience on the front lines of real life to prove it, right? There is a better way. That's doing it the hard way. That's going east looking for the sunset. That's heading to the gunfight with a butter knife. Don't do that. That's doing it the hard way. Another way to accelerate your speed to success that the top dogs in pretty much every industry with rare exception are leveraging is accountability and mentorship. This is where they leverage someone else's proven formula. They leverage someone else's blood, sweat, and tears so they don't have to go through the trouble and struggle of doing it the hard way themselves. So now, instead of taking decades to get to their outcome, they can get to their outcome in just a few months. Condensing decades into days is what having accountability and mentorship is all about. So you don't have to make the same mistakes. You don't have to step on the same landmines. You don't have to 
waste all that time and energy and effort trying to reinvent the wheel. The, the wheel has already been invented. Why don't we just stick the wheel on the axle and start using it immediately, right? Stick the key in the ignition and drive away. You don't have to figure out how to build an engine. You don't have to figure out how to build an automobile. You just stick the key in the ignition and drive away. That's massive leverage. That's massive success acceleration. And it's the fastest, easiest way to condense time frames so that you can get to the outcome better, faster, easier with less time, energy, money, and stress. So that being said, if you are heading into 2020 feeling rather bummed out, disappointed with yourself, perhaps feeling guilt or shame or embarrassment or humiliation or stress or frustration because you haven't got to the outcome you wanted. In fact, you fell short or maybe you fell well short and you're pissed off because not only is it annoying you didn't hit it, but you don't know why you hit it. You don't know how to fix it. All you know is that your way ain't working. If that's you and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of spinning your wheels, messing around, doing it the hard way, and you're looking for a proven plan to be able to go stratospheric in 2020 and beyond and be able to really kick ass, take name, chew bubble gum and crush it at a whole other level. And you just want to go straight to what works without messing around doing it the hard way. I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call with either myself or one of my consultants where we lift up the hood on your business and we look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at, where you want to be. If that's the case and you want to learn how we can help you take your business to that next level, then I invite you to take advantage of that complimentary breakthrough call that we offer at the end of each one of these podcast episodes. And this is where you get to find out what it really takes to take your business to that next level, what it really takes to hit outcomes like a hot knife through butter, what it really takes to finally get to that income goal, to blast through that proverbial glass ceiling that you've bump, been bumping your head against and to just crush it, not the slow grind, not watching paint dry, but crushing it, not trying to big build a foundation by taking out a gardening trowel to dig that hole, but taking out the excavator and getting it done like that, getting it done with power and precision, precision and sophistication, then I invite you to take advantage of this complimentary breakthrough call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Book a call. We'll get on the phone. We'll help you get clarity like you never have before. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Now there's a few caveats. Number one, you need to be 100% commission as a mortgage professional in residential mortgages. And you need to have ambition where you want to make at least an extra $100,000 or more per year in income. If you don't have that kind of ambition, this is not for you. It's kind of like hitting a finishing nail with a sledgehammer. It's overkill. However, if indeed you feel that that's you, that you want to make at least an extra 100K next year, you want to be able to get there way faster with way less effort, more time with the family, more vacation time, more freedom, more peace of mind, sleeping well every night because you have a battle-tested proven system that works while you're not working and consistently produces these outcomes for you, then book the call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Well, I'm frankly quite surprised with myself. I thought I would have hacked at least once or twice in this 25-minute uh, period, but miraculously, it seems like the Facebook Live has healed me. Had I known that, I would have done the Facebook Live a lot easier and a lot sooner. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I'm grateful that the audio was uninterrupted without too many sniffles, snorts, or hacks. So praise God for that. This is Dorn Aldana, MortgageMarketingCoach.com, coming at you for the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And we just covered how to fix not hitting your income goals. We covered key elements that you need to have in place, getting clarity on your outcome, feeling the victory in advance, leveraging your database, upgrading your partnerships, and getting accountability and mentorship so that you can reveal the blind spots because when you're in the bottle, it's pretty hard to see the label from inside the bottle. Having that outside perspective, revealing those blind spots, adding that accountability, and giving the proven recipe for success. You don't have to waste time trying to iterate your way to success. Why not just get straight to it and do it? Key in the ignition, drive away. 
So again, if you'd like to claim a breakthrough call, go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for being with me. Again, Doran Aldana, Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. Now go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you'll get massive results, guys. Be blessed. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.